Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll talk about the report. In Jira, report plays a very important role. So if you see here, this is my Jira project and this is the, um, you know, the team managed project. You can see the bottom it is showing the team managed project. And in the team managed project, I am in the current sprint. And in this sprint, I have done three issues and they, each issue have a various point. You can see five, five, three. And these all are the do and in progress point. If I go back to the backlog, under the backlog, you can see 13 point is completed, 7 point is in progress and 5 point is to do. So now uh, in today's class, we will learn that how we can enable the report. So if you are not seeing the report tab in the left side, what you can do, you can go to the project settings. Under the project settings, you have a features. Under the features, you have the options called report. You just need to turn on these features. Once you turn on these report features, you can go back to the projects. Under the projects uh, backlog or if you go to the board, you will be able to find out that one tab called report. So this is the report tab. And if you click that, there will be various report tab based on that which type of project you are selecting. So if you are selecting that team managed project, you will have less projects or re less report. If you are using the company managed project, you will get more projects, more details. So let's go back to here under this uh, board. If I go back to the board and you can see right now three um, uh, issues is done. One issue is in progress and one issue is in to do and they have their various points. So each issue have a various point called five points, seven points. These are the points. Now if you click the insight, you will get a complete insight about this sprint. So let's see that what it is saying that. So at that moment it is saying that 52% is done and here it have a detailed report called 52% is done, 28% is in progress and 20% is not yet started. Not yet started means to do list. And you can see under this, this is the uh, sprint um, burn down chart and here it is showing that when this point was removed, added and details guideline. So this is the remaining task that we have to done. So this is doing a complete, um, you know, details. Now here it is showing the total how many issues we have and here it is showing that how many points all those details. Now if I go back to the reports, under the report there will be various reports. The first report I will talk about the burn up report. So if you click the burn up report, you will have a graphical representation. This is the burn up report you can see. Now here you can see we have a various um, options. First is the sprint. So you can toggle between the sprint. You can toggle between the story point, issue count or maybe time. So you can change this point depending on your use cases. Now if I go back to the story points, so this is the story point and here it is the end of the sprint. So this date will be the end of the sprint. Now you can see there is a red color and there is a green color, right? So in the red color, you can see I have estimated, these are the story estimated. Whenever the story point is updated or story point is decreases, this is the point or this is the uh, showing here. In this day, uh, in that day, these are the story got updated with the point and there is no update further. And after that, in this day, today, I have updated a couple of stories and that is why it is showing like that. And now, if you see green bar, this is the green bar where it is showing that when this story got completed, so in this day it's saying the three dot, it means that today's date I have completed this issue or story. If I scroll down here, it have a detailed details. So here if you can see that we have date, let's say that 20. So on the 20, the sprint was started. These were the story was there. And then here it have a complete and scope. Now after that we have a estimated updated. You can see this one is estimated and this is the story which is estimated on the 21, which was from 0. So scope you can say from 0 to 5. Now we have another story which is estimated on and then that at that moment the value got updated from 5 point to the 7 point. After that there is another story which got updated and at that moment the value was from 7 to the 40. So these are the total point was there at that moment 21, I mean 14 point on the 21 day. And if you see here, uh, the it is showing the uh, story point is that, uh, you know, 14 points. So it's near about the 14 points. After that, you can see uh, we have issue estimated updated 19. And then after that, on 27, we have est estimated that 22. So on that 27, we have estimated, uh, you can see 22. And if you see on the 27, we have estimated around 
22 so this is the board now if you see here under this completed on the 27 we have completed one story from 0 to 5 and then we have completed one story from 5 to 8 you can see this is the form 5 to it got the value got updated from 5 to 8 and this story got updated so this way you can see this graph also getting updated so this is the estimation graph and this is the completed graph and here it is showing that how it is updated like a activity stream what is happening and how it is getting so there are various other um, kind of uh, report you can see you depending on your use cases you can select that like you can select that uh, this report called cumulative flow chart here it show that um, to do in progress and done so this is here you can select that you can select that sprint burn down chart also depending on what type of things you are looking for you can select and then work on that now going back to the overview you can see the report is that we have total six report at that moment let's go back to the another project i'll go back to that um, view all project and this time i'll select the company manage project as i mentioned earlier video the company manage have a more control more option more features but it is little complex it needs the jira admin help to configure that so i'll go back to that uh, company manage project and under the company manage project normally by default if you select that a scrum project by default the report uh, tab was enabled now if i go back to the report and under the report if you select that um, you can see under the all report you have a agile and here you can see there are many more actually report available so this is a number of report available and depending on which kind of report you are using you can select that remember that for a uh, company managed project it will have more report for um, you know team managed project will have less report so if you are looking for some report is not missing so you make sure that which type of project you have selected that you have to be clear now here also you can select that but as i don't have much details but um, let me go back to here you can select any of this called report uh, epic report you can select that i mean this project is not properly configured but you can get the details like you can get that data i mean you can select different kind of data okay so you can select the sprint report here and you can see this is the sprint report you can select the velocity chart um, you know uh, version report there are many data many kind of report available here so which is not available into your uh, team managed project so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day